Stupid ass up. Shut so stupid ass up. Shut so stupid ass up. did a 17 hour shoot with Chaz and our production team for the unpopular Chaz's show. Now don't get me wrong, I'm super duper excited for Chaz. She's been working extremely hard on this and honestly y'all, this is gonna be a great season. Make sure y'all tap into Ch Chaz's channel, Pretty Girl Chaz, and tap in on the unpopular series. Y'all haven't caught season one yet, make sure y'all catch that because y'all, it's some crazy stuff that, that's about to go down in season two. So yeah, so that is what we were working on literally all day. We I was up since six o'clock in the morning. I had to take the girls to um, school because Soraya had lunch with the principal, well breakfast with the principal, because she got the Noble Knight Award. So they did a, a breakfast with the principal and the owners of the school. So I literally had to get up at 6 a.m. to do that. And then after that, go home, I did my makeup and stuff and went right out and started shooting. I think we start. I started at 9 a.m. I got there at 9 a.m. And we literally didn't finish until like, what, 12? Like Y'all, like well, one well, in the morning, 12. Well, yeah, done at 12, still had to do with the file and stuff. Yeah, so it's, y'all, that was Left insane. Right. Keep straight. That was an insane, insane production. But when I tell you it, it's amazing, the outcome is gonna be awesome. We're actually about to shoot our intro for our channel um, for Vlogmas. And then we are going to, what after that? We got a pack. I need a nap. There's no way I'm going to get through this day without a nap. I can't do it. I can't function right. I can't think straight. I'll, I put, feel you, I'll like, put you to sleep, bro. Boy, I need I'll a nap. Right. Okay. Make sure y'all subscribe to the bed. channel. Hit yeah. the notification bell so y'all get our videos when we drop. I just want to say that, yes, I'm proud of y'all for that. That was a long day y'all was shooting, so... Uh, we have, I know we've missed a couple days on here. Been a lot going on, so we're actually about to be. Are we going to tell them where we're going? Okay. So we're actually going to be leaving town. We got to get a battery for a little while, you know, go see some family and stuff like that, do some different stuff. So we're going to take you along with us, show you all the whole way. There's actually going to be a lot of exciting stuff we're going to be doing, where we're going. So y'all stay tuned. And y'all comment right now. Tell us what y'all think. Like everybody, like we feel like. Pranks are a little bit. I don't know. What y'all think? Right? I did. I think pranks are just. Uh, I, YouTube has been built on pranks for so long, and you know we do love giving y'all pranks, and, and we want y'all to give y'all input. But we want just want to give y'all something different. We want to switch it up and give y'all something different. We want to really bring y'all into our life, into our lifestyle, who we are, what we do. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Like we just want y'all input. Like what? What do y'all want to see more? Y'all want to see prank? Well, it's really about they want to see us. That's that's what the real gag is. They really want to see us. It's just um, you gonna make a right up here. Um, we the, give y'all more of our yeah, life. The goal is to really give y'all more of our life because I, we feel like you know just giving y'all pranks, you know, and videos here and there. We feel like it, it takes away from Princess and Flo and we're kind of cheating ourselves as well as cheating y'all because we, we're not really giving y'all all there is to Princess and Flo. We feel like there's so much that me and Flo, um, we have that we share together. There's just a lot, a lot of excitement that goes on in our lives that we never capture. And I think it's because we're so like to ourselves type of people and, and we have so much self-respect that we, we just decide to, you know, just not, everything just doesn't need to be shown um there's just certain things that we just like to keep to ourselves but and honestly through the time of youtube like 
we opened up, especially me. Yeah. Because when I first started doing YouTube, I didn't really want to do it, and I wasn't really that great on camera. I wasn't really open to y'all as I am now. So I didn't really want to give y'all all that. Yeah. I mean, and that's not to say that we just going to be up here showing y'all everything, but we just want to give y'all more so of the lifestyle side. Like, because a lot of people know, like, me and Flo, we go on really nice dates. We, we, we shop. When we shop, we shop for really nice things, really nice clothes, you know. Even when we cook, like, certain things that we cook, certain things that we don't eat. Um, traveling we do a lot of traveling so when we go on trips and things like that it's a lot of things that we'll be capturing in more detail for y'all and a whole different style as well yeah a whole different style. all right y'all so we're about to start packing for our trip but as we said earlier we're getting out of town so we're gonna get packed we're not gonna tell you how we're going yet but where we're going it's going to be colder so we're gonna pack some some all stuff our cozy stuff. yeah we got to pack a lot of clothes we're gonna be gone for a while we got to get up out of here you know what I'm saying so, we figured we'd go ahead and go to one of the places we like to go. And we're going to show y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all yet, you know what I'm saying? That'd be too easy. We got to make y'all... done packing for the most part i still got some stuff that's in the dryer i'm gonna have to just throw it in a suitcase in the morning because i'm tired and i need some sleep i'm gonna take this makeup off and go to bed oh we gotta eat babe what you want to eat girl the only thing i want to eat is that pussy. all right no i'm serious what are we gonna eat i'm serious too girl. um it can't I'm, I'm really thirsty though we could do canes. I ate that last night. So what? I'm not gonna do Chick Fil A today. Is it mean? still open? What time is it? All right, so canes, Chick Fil A, Taco Bell. Let's right, go. Yeah, so we're on the road right now. We got the whole car packed up. We got the thing for the stand. We don't have the stand. We didn't bring it. Ah, we should have brought the stand. So we actually forgot something. So we got to go back home. But yeah, we had some crazy stuff happen last night. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still stressed out about this. I'm still stressed out about this, and I haven't got any kind of resolve. I couldn't even go to sleep last night over this. I had a very serious, serious issue happen. Uh, right before our trip, too, just the worst time. Like it, it, it kind of like almost deterred me from even wanting to go, to be honest with you. Because, but I mean, it'd be cool. I, I figured it out. But, um, but basically, like I was at the car dealership yesterday, right? Yeah, so we got a couple different bank accounts. So I just I just chose a random card. I didn't even really think much of it. Just a card account that I don't usually use every day. So I went and slid my card, and um, it was declined. And there's a lot of money in this account, a lot of money. So I'm like, what? So hold on, that's a mistake. I must have did my PIN number wrong or something like that. Did it again, declined. So I go and I look in the account. I use my other card, pay for it real quick. Look at my account. The account was negative, right? I'm not going to say how much. I'm not going to put all of our financial situations up there so y'all know how much money we have. But our account was negative by a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay? So let's just say that it was more than 50000 negative. Okay? So I'm like... 
I'm looking at it like, what, what, what? Like, what the heck? I've never seen my, any account negative that much, you know? So I'm looking at it. I'm like, I pause from there. I'm like, what? So I'm like, literally, the ladies ask me questions. I can't even talk to her because I'm so, like, I'm thinking we got scammed or something like that. I'm like, obviously, somebody did a seriously crazy scam on us. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay. So I get to the card and I, and I pull it up and I notice that there was a check that was deposited into the account for a very large amount of money. I'm not going to say how much, but it was a very large amount of money. And it was not me. I didn't deposit that check. I don't know who deposited that check. But it shows the check being deposited four days ago. But yesterday was three days ago. And so I guess for a while, our account balance was a lot higher than it was because of this check. But apparently, my bank noticed it that there is probably some kind of scam fraud check. I don't know. I don't know whose check this is. And they put they took the whole check and they put it negative the whole entire amount of the check. So obviously I had the check in my account and they took it out. I'm a little bit confused. I don't know what happened. And it made my whole account negative. I don't know what happened. I don't know how this happened, but I'm very upset about this. And I called my bank last night. They had me on hold for three hours, yo. Two hours and like 50 minutes. And all of a sudden, like, you know how they have the music playing? The music just stops while I'm on the hold. So I get my other phone, I call them, I say, What's up? Y'all just like, I'm on hold forever. And then the music stops. Like, oh, yeah, that department closed. I'm like, so y'all just have me on hold for three hours, man. And department closed. Like, what is this up? Like, this is a very serious matter. I would like to know what's up right now. Couldn't even sleep last night because of this. So, you know, I wake up, call them again. They, they tell me they're going to call me back in three hours. Two hour and a half hours or something. I'm like, what is up with y'all? Y'all was just straight trash. Like, one thing about this situation is, you know, because somebody, somebody told us, one of our friends told us that this happened to him and they shut his account down and they, they gave his money back, but it took two months. So they basically put him at fault for this. So we're not going to take no L's on this. I feel like they tried us. We was living our lives on a normal day, doing what we normally do. And this happens to him. Like, it's not his fault. You know what I'm saying? He can't be penalized for something he didn't do. So guess what? We're going to sue the hell out of Chase. Because first of all, you can't you can't just and then on the account it says that it's an error. It said posted right. an error or something That's like that. That's one thing as you can see in the deposit, like it shows the deposit, and then it shows like three days later it shows another error and it says shows another thing that looks like a deposit, and it says um, this deposit was an error, blah blah blah. You know, so I'm like, if it's an error, why why is why is like my account negative? The amount, like why why did you? take that I don't know, I can't really explain it like the amount they deposit they took out you know when I said over 50,000 I meant well over 50,000 well over that's they took a, all the money out so they plus the money yeah so they took all like my balance is still in there but the amount that they took out was larger you know what I'm saying this is a very large check this isn't no little check this is one of those situations where you see people in, in you know, on like Facebook or like in the news or whatever and there'll be some lady or some dude or whoever and they'll get a check and they'll, and they'll withdraw it. It'll be for like a million dollars or something like that. And they'll withdraw the check and go to jail. We could have did that. Like, we could have withdrew the balance. We didn't know. I didn't check the account. That account, like I said, I don't use it every day. Yeah, but we wouldn't have done that. It's not that we... we no, we, I would never do that. But I'm saying, this is that type of situation. This is one of those scenarios where people do that and they go to jail. We didn't. We wouldn't have done it. If we'd seen the money, I would have called my bank like, what is this? What is going on with this? You know what I'm saying? But... I didn't even notice it while the balance was there. I guess they noticed it first. I think someone probably, because what happened was, I called them last night and they gave me the direct number. Like, well, here's the direct number to call the department you need to call. I just called them. The department is to determine whether they're going to close your account or not. It's that department. We'll have a lawyer ready to close so them down So if they close my account for no reason and then hold my money, and, and my homeboy said that this has happened to him, same exact thing happened to him. And they said that it took him a couple months. They, they held his money and sent him a check. It took him like two months to get that check. That's not happening. You're not going to take all my, well, not all my money, but this is like where I keep most of my money, yo. You're not going to go in there and just freeze most of our money and then just say, oh, I'll give you a check in two months. No. And I didn't even do anything. Like, I didn't, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't, I don't do fraud scam checks. I don't do that. This ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know who does or 
or what. I don't know if that's what's going on. I'm, I'm like I said, I gotta wait almost three hours from the Colby back. So I'm, it's just frustrating, yo. I so say you're going on a trip, knowing that the bank just froze the bulk of your yeah, money. Good thing that's not our only account. It's not our only account. It's not a big deal. It's not make or break us, but it definitely got my get me frustrated, yo. It's like no, you can't play with me like that. You know what I mean? Like, have, have any of y'all experienced such a thing? And so, how y'all gonna shut my account? I've been banking with Chase for a long time. I've had issues with them before, so if they give me any kind of issues and they let me keep my account, I'm definitely just get my money on close and never use Chase again. I'm already gonna do that because we need I'm to sick take screenshots of, of everything on there. So before so before they close it down, we can't see it no more. We need to hurry up and take screenshots. Where's your other phone at? It's in my pocket right that here. Way we can, um, so we're gonna get some screenshots of everything so they can't go in there and try shut to us out. try to lie and all that like. It's just insane. Like, just imagine just going to pay for something, knowing this account's got buku money in there, and then you, you're declined. And then you go to look at your camera, and it's in the negative, like, a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. You're like, what? Just imagine that. It's like a movie, yo. It really threw me off. I ain't gonna lie. My whole day was messed up yesterday. We're over here packing, and we were supposed to drop a video yesterday. And I ain't gonna lie, I was in the, on hold with them. I was trying to shoot. Like, y'all could see earlier in the video, you could probably hear in the background, possibly you could still hear the um the little elevator music they play when you're on hold. Like, I was on hold all night. I couldn't even think. I couldn't even finish the video. Yo, this video was supposed to be it out It says yesterday. an item posted on air on 11 16 21. And then they have a reference number and all this bull crap. It won't even let me open what the number of and then it, sh it says it was a check that deposited, and there's a picture of it. So somebody went and had a paper check with a whole bunch of money. I'm like, what are y'all doing? And it's like, I had nothing to do with the scam. So if y'all trying to scam, how are you going to get the money from me? I wasn't going to give it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to get it? Like, what, what, how does this scam work? I'm, I'm assuming that they put one wrong number on that deposit, and it ended up in my account. And now they're trying to literally close my account and freeze my funds. It's like, ugh, this is... We did use this car for a couple of things, but it wasn't no big charges. Yeah, we, we, we I, you know, it's like, a lot of times on my wallet, like, sometimes I don't have all my cards on me. So sometimes I'll use that account, not even on purpose, because I, I may have left my card at home or whatever the case on my wallet, and I just have that card or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I used it a couple times here and there in the last month, but literally, like, less than five transactions probably in the last month. Because I don't use that, that's not my main account, it's more like a savings account. More so. It's Cause my thing is this, I'm confused as to th this is what I'm confused about. If y'all deposit this check into the account and y'all take it back, then y'all take it back. I still got money in my account. So why is my account negative? I don't understand. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that's what's confusing to me. Because the check was so large, larger than this. Yeah, but it says here, okay, this is when it was deposited. That same amount was deducted exactly. back. Exactly. So what does that have to do? Where's your money? Like, why exactly. is it negative? They're acting like I withdrew it. Right. Like, did somebody even if we did money? spend money, we spent money out of our own money. Like, I don't see a withdrawal. No, it says debit. It says debit I know, right I here. I was just saying, like, it was like the, the fact that it's negative makes you feel like somebody withdrew it, right? That's weird. Yeah, so, yeah, so I ain't gonna lie, as y'all been seeing, we've been dealing with a lot of BS, a lot of just, just stupid stuff, and it's pretty frustrating, you know. It's just been like one thing after another lately. I ain't gonna lie, it really has been. But one thing I'll say is about life that I've, I've learned is that when things are going, when you have a lot of things hitting you like that, it means something big is about to happen. So I'm going to just stay focused and just... Yeah, big lawsuit. That's what's about to happen. Big lawsuit, whatever it is. Like, if Chase wants to play with me, like, they have no reason to play with me. I, I don't... I've never in my life took part of any kind of scams, and I actually don't even like scammers. I'm going to keep it real. No offense if y'all, if you're a scammer, but... I just don't respect it. Like, there's so many ways to get money out here. You don't have to steal from other people. I think that's lame, and I have no respect for it, and I'm not one of those types of people. You know what I mean? So, I mean, do what you do. You know, I'm not judging. I'm just, that's just my perspective on, on, on the, the idea of scamming people. I don't do that, so Chase, get off my back. Don't try me. Like, I feel disrespected, but, you know, that's just life. You know, it's going to come at you in different ways and try you in different ways, but... Um, I know y'all been missing us. We haven't. We didn't drop for a couple days, just dealing with a couple different things, as y'all seen, and some other things we didn't talk about. But it's all good. We're gonna be on hours to talk to you guys, cause y'all made an error. Chase is trash, yo. I can't be with y'all no more. Y'all need to step it up, yo. You guys are very, very, very unprofessional. I'm so I understand, and I do.
up on shut your stupid ass up. Shut your stupid ass up, bitch. Hey, really, she That's fixed one. it. It's one car. Okay, well, that's that. They just made me wait a whole three hours again. You understand what I'm saying? Three hours. Yo, I, when I say I cussed, she, I, she should have filmed. I cussed this lady out so bad. Not that lady, the last lady. Yo, they literally made me wait on hold for six hours. They finally fixed my account, yo. Oh my god, they finally fixed my account. I had like, yo, I, I just, I don't know how, how frustrated would you be if your account was literally negative, like hundreds of thousands, though. Like, I, you know what? I just can't. Even how, ne how, how negative would you be? How frustrated would you be if you went to Popeyes and they ain't give you no fuck for your damn raw food?